I'm going to walk through how to fill out your coding plan for your artwork in P5JS. So you have this um, page on paper. You have three sections you're going to kind of fill in a bit just to show me that you have some kind of plan in mind of what you want to try. This first box is where you're going to just sketch out what you hope for your drawing to kind of look like. Um, this is a bit tricky on screen for me, but I'm going to try. Uh, so let's say I wanted to try and code that mummy um, in my project. So I would just kind of quickly sketch out that I'm going to have a circle here and a couple of eyes in my project. And then because it's a mummy, I'm somehow I'm going to try to create the wraps in my project. So I will sketch those in. Okay. Oh, oh man. Okay. This is hopefully a little bit easier on paper, but that's the basic idea. What just a kind of a sketch of what it is you're going to attempt to create with code. Okay. Now, you don't need to plan that entire thing out on this coordinate grid, but I do want you to start plotting a few points. Um, and it, down here, same thing. Think about a few of the shapes that you'll need in order to create your image. Um, and then you're going to plug in what the um, some of those um, shapes are and how you would write them in p5 so for example i know i need a circle for the face so here it says shape name and sketch so circle right and a quick sketch again right circle okay just like that i know i'm going to be using a circle let me try to kind of highlight that a bit that's the part i'm typing okay now how do I create a circle in P5? We did that together quite a few times, so I know that that is ellipse, and I have to put in an X, a Y, whoops, a, comma, a length and a width. There we go, and I'll try and just shrink that a little so you can see it on this one screen, okay? Now, as you're doing this, if you don't know one of the shapes that you're trying to create, remember that in your assignments, in your assignment for this project, you have the Make a Face Project Guide. This is the original project guide. And if you open that up, you can find some of the other shapes that you might want to create, right? So as you go through, we used ellipse quite a bit. It also talks about colors and getting rid of borders or adding borders, all sorts of things, how to rotate your shapes. Um, I didn't see another shape yet, so I'm going to go to the next page and look for more shapes. Ah, here we go. We got rectangles, right? And actually, I think back on that initial page, the face shape page, here we go. They started us with three different shapes here, okay? So you just go back to the guide and find what it is you need. All right. So in mine, I know circles and then definitely rectangles for my mummy wraps. So a quick sketch, okay. And then again, in the project guide, it shows me that to draw a rectangle, I need to use rect and it's an X, Y, and a width and a height. Okay, X, Y, width, height. Great, okay. And that's what you need to do in this section here. And then I mentioned, let me try and get a different color for this part, um, that I just want you to start thinking about how you would plot those points out. So maybe for my circle, um, for the big face, maybe I'm gonna center that which means that my X and my Y would be here um, and my circle would draw around that. Let me see if I can do that in red, there we go. And then I would make my face around that center, right? 
And that's not exactly perfect, but at least I'm trying to demonstrate that I understand that the X, Y coordinates are going to place the center of my circle. Whereas when you read about the rectangle, okay, this X and Y point is the top left corner of your coordinate. So this was also in your um, Desmos lesson as well. Um, so if I'm drawing a rectangle, then I want to demonstrate that I understand that there, if that's my XY coordinate, then that's going to be the top left corner of the wrap or the rectangle that I'm drawing. Okay, so that's what I'm doing with that one. Oops, that's not letting me draw that, but ideally you would sketch that in with pencil. So if you can get a few of your shapes on that grid and just show me that you have a bit of a plan here and importantly that you can find how it is you're going to create that shape that's what you need on this page.